wild fishing starts here on the water. We're going to try something today. Today is an extremely full, full moon. We are at 100% full moon. So today we came out here, it is now sunrise, and we are going to put in about three, four hours of fishing here, sunrise, full moon, and see what kind of uh, fishing we can get done, what kind of bites we can get done. Then we are going to take a break, go back out again tonight, 6, 7 o'clock this evening, and fish till about midnight or 1 a.m., and see which time of the day is better to fish during a full moon. A lot of people say full moon fishing is no good. Uh, other people say full moon fishing at, in the evening is uh, is really good. Other people say, you know, full moon fishing, just stay off the water completely. Um, we know that for us, we catch less fish during a full moon. We have a hard time with it. In my opinion, the full moon, all the bright uh, light through the night, uh, and I'll just obviously the sun through the day the fish can uh, see bait and and feed a lot more uh, through the whole 24 hours it's easier for them to feed so the feeding patterns get disrupted uh, based on the more light within a 24-hour period that's my opinion but we'll, we'll see what happens so we're gonna go ahead and do this today uh, it is at 84 degree water temperature right now this morning uh, we have a northeast wind at two miles an hour, and um, it is going to be a high, high pressure day with bluebird skies, hardly any clouds in the sky, very clear, and towards the end of the day, it's supposed to get up to almost 95 degrees. So those are our conditions for the day. Guys, we are going to fish the exact same location. So we have one area we're going to fish. We're going to fish this this morning, and again, we'll fish the same area this evening. So we're not changing locations or anything. We'll fish the same area as well to try and keep this, uh, our variables, uh, as, as light as possible or as uh, consistent as possible. We've been here about 45 minutes or so. We're doing the uh, uh, spot and drag technique from Ace. Uh, so far, uh, nothing. No, no bites, no sniffs, no nibbles, no anything. So. We'll go ahead and show you guys the screen here, uh, give you a good idea that uh, we are on fish, we are marking fish, uh, show you the uh, ledge that we're fishing. Here you go guys, marking fish, of course, we're on this ledge here, all those waypoints are all the stuff we've caught before, so we're in a good spot, but then again, who knows? Is that messing us up or not? That's what we're here to find out. Got four rods out the back, of course, two down rods, two planter boards. And then in the front, we got two drifting rods or vertical rods underneath the boat. All right, guys, first fish on. angled. We need to get back here and find a fish. Dad. Uh, 
fish this morning. We got tangled here on other rod. Ace drink coffee not helping, so I I'll handle it. Oh, it's a little flathead. Ourselves a little flathead this morning, guys. There we go. Full moon flathead. First thing in the morning. Nice little one here. We had like eight boats go by all at the same time. Got this other fish I reeled down on. Decent fish? Yeah. Here we go, guys. Fish number two. Looks like we doubled up real quick here. Nothing gets Ace off his butt faster drink coffee than fish on. We got guys two flatheads in a row. This one's a little bit bigger, not much. Two not two nice flatheads to start the day though. Alright guys. That's good stuff right there. So uh today while Ace rebates this up, he'll show you uh on our vertical down rods here. We are using skipjack, and on the outside planter board rods, we're using a gizzard shad. So we're using a little combination of bait here. Um, so All right, he's going to put on a skipjack head on the one. What he does with his gizzard shad is he just takes a decent sized gizzard shad here. And he uh, cuts off the uh, cuts off the tail. Get a little blood in the water, a little scent. Cuts it off the tail right out, right behind the dorsal fin there. Then we'll go ahead and cast this out and uh, get going again. Of course, guys, when, on the spot and drag technique, when we are using planter boards, obviously you cannot be on the spot lock portion of that when you're resetting your planter boards. We have to be uh, moving again. So, of course, we're moving forward, get the planter board set out, spread, and then in uh, 100 yards or so, we'll go ahead and uh, uh, spot lock again and see what happens. So. The two fish we caught came off of the spot lock portion of the spot and drag. We were not moving, so maybe that's an indication of what they want. So we're going to move forward just a little bit, get this planter board out and spread, and then uh, we're going to go ahead and um, spot lock again and see if we can pick up some bigger flatheads. Check out the screen though, guys. We are definitely, definitely in the fish. Let's just see if they're hungry. fishing out here for about four hours. We've caught three fish here on this full moon morning. All those fish came between 7 and 8 a.m. Uh, after we went ahead and spot and dragged up uh, the channel on the uh, edge of the uh, main uh, the main channel off of a flat, we moved over here into deeper water and we have anchored out. A lot of fish again on the fish finder, but we've gotten uh, a couple bites but no real major action. So um, we're going ahead and going to close this video out. We're going to come back out this evening. We're going to fish the same areas. 
We're going to do some other anchoring and um, the same techniques we did this morning and see if there's a difference of catching fish on a full moon, whether in the late evening or the early morning. So check us out uh, for part two of the evening. This is part one of Fishing on a Full Moon. Like us on Instagram and Facebook. Check out our website at deucewildfishing.com and slam that subscribe button, guys. Have a good afternoon. Tight lines.